New details on a fatal stabbing that happened uh, early Monday morning in Eastman. Avery Braxton joins us from the crash site to tell us what he learned from the GBI and from people he's been talking to in that neighborhood. Yes, Frank, you can still see the gap in the fence where that SUV crashed on Monday. I've talked to friends and family about what the, the kind of women these two people were all day. They tell me their kindness, their generosity and willingness to help others likely led to their deaths. Both of the women stabbed in Eastman early Monday morning were described as givers. Don Pitts, a friend of Althea Etheridge, says she was a matriarch of the community. You know, she opened her heart and a lot of people looked up to her as their second mother. Pitt says she was always willing to help those around her, as was Alexia Williams, according to her daughter's boyfriend, Joseph Lane. You can ask for anything. She would hop, stop, whatever she's doing, and she would help you like, right in and out. The GBI says Etheridge was giving Williams a ride home and offered to help another man that she recognized early that morning. The GBI says Williams was walking back towards her house from Callahan Street when she heard the SUV take off and then crash. She ran to the crash site. Etheridge had apparently been stabbed and then crashed. She died on the scene. Lane says Williams then ran up to the passenger side where the man was sitting so she could help. When Ms. Lacey tries to open the door, my mama says that he like pushed the door open and like she falls or like backs up and then and, like basically struggling. And I guess he stabs her. Williams was airlifted to Navison Health. Yeah, Lane please, says he's please. proud of her for doing the right thing. I love the fact that she did that. I just wish it didn't happen the way it did. I wish she could have, you know, just, I just wish it was different. Now the GBI tells me that Williams' injuries were non-life threatening and that she was actually released from the hospital today. Her family expects her home at some point this afternoon. Now as far as her attacker goes, while Etheridge may have known who that man was, Williams did not. Reporting in Eastman, Avery Braxton, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thanks Avery. The GBI says the stabbing is still under investigation and they're still unclear as to what the motive may have been. If you have information on the attack, you're asked to call the GBI Eastman office at 478 374 6988.